there's nothing like the hunting experience. I know people say that and it sounds cliche, but it's not. There is no greater sense of peace than being out here in nature and hearing the quiet. It's just serenity. of confidence that I had in myself after I climbed that mountain was um, just amazing. There is nothing more stress-free than getting out and enjoying the outdoors. I just walked across these rickety rocks and we're doing all right and there's an elk trail on the other side of this. We're gonna get over there and hopefully call some elk in. see what they do and see if a bull comes out of the timber. I'm hoping they feed down low and the bull cuts across this timber in front of us. It's awesome. Um, I'm a life member as is my husband and uh, Shoot Like a Girl just became a heritage partner with Rocky Mountain Oak Foundation. Shoot Like a Girl is a company that's dedicated to growing the number of women that participate in shooting sports. We travel around the country, we introduce women to shooting sports in a safe, controlled environment, and our message is really that uh, shooting sports is an excellent opportunity for women to get out there and enjoy quality time with their families. It's getting too late for us to be able to get in on them and make a move, but we're getting closer. You take this draw right here so you can see him with your eye. Yeah. Shadow. Yeah, he's out in the sun right now. Today is my first day I've met up with Christy and Karen from Shoot Like a Girl. And we've got two different groups of elk spotted. We've also got a couple mule deer bucks down below us. So we decided to come on this side, see if we can get on that branch bull and possibly have one of these ladies put a stock on a mule deer buck. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a great day. I have hunted my whole life and I was raised in the outdoors with my father and not every woman out there is blessed enough to have the opportunities that I have been afforded since I was young. It doesn't matter where you are in your, in your hunting life or your outdoor life, we are a community and us ladies are able to share all of this together and that is a very precious gift.
hood we're watching tonight has got two satellite bowls in it and then one big hood bowl. We might be able to call them in tomorrow. I went camping with some friends and they had bows and guns and I got to actually shoot them and I was instantly hooked. I just got this longing to want to go hunt. Hopefully they're going to start talking and uh, we'll be able to at least, you know, get within range or call in a bull or something. Make something happen. I'm excited. Our motto is empowering women uh, to participate in shooting sports with confidence and really it's almost uh, giving women confidence through shooting sports is another way to twist that around. For me personally, shooting sports is really my stress relief and my outlet. When I'm done, I feel great and it, it doesn't take very many rounds down the range to feel better. <laughs> so we can get a better spot because he's kind of out in the open. Those other deer saw that deer bust out. It, it was pretty much game over about they took off. I guess there's another day we'll have to work hard. Hopefully I have better luck. in my life heard a real live elk bugle and I tell you what it caught me by surprise and it was just took my breath away it was a phenomenal sound Christy so good at sharing her knowledge it's wonderful it was really thrilling to get to hunt with her like in the With everything that uh, Karen does for women in shooting sports, she's a relatively new big game hunter. And to share that with her, it's very powerful for me uh, to have been a part of that. The wind's pretty good. We got an elk over here. I think they heard some down there. Not really sure where all these elk are right now, but we're going to make a play down here in the kind of open timber. We can make it work.
just didn't work out. He made the right move and he got out of town. But it was an incredible experience. That's what it's all about. Yeah. It's great. Just like they said, where you set up there and you put the you put the collar behind you. It exactly like it was. Exactly like it's supposed to be. It was incredible. Yeah. So you should be good to almost just climb down this face. Mildare spotted that we're going to try to get Christy Crawford on. So hopefully he'll cooperate and uh, we're going to kind of sit back on some bandage here and watch the watch the whole magic unfold. It's going to be pretty fun. We just try to stay tight and everybody scan when we're getting in there. I don't want to get picked off by the other deer. are gonna kind of work their way down this ridge back through some boulders and these bucks really like to bed in these boulders because they stay nice and cool so while they're putting the stock on they not only have to watch the wind but they also have to watch the rocks and make sure another buck doesn't bust them in the meantime it's gonna be awesome when they pull it off me I'm just gonna kick back in my socks and watch There's no bow there, so that can't be her. Christy with her bow and Ken with the camera are still tucked behind the rock while they have sent, it looks like, Steve out on a scouting mission. This is so risky. Oh, I see a head. I see a head. You know, her heart is in her throat right now. It's up. It's getting up. It's up. Deer's right there. Draw your bow. Draw your bow. Draw your bow. A mule deer survives on his instincts and his senses. 
Even though I didn't get a shot on this mule deer, I walked away with a sense of accomplishment. He didn't want to take a second look. I wish he would have. It's not every day that you can go into an animal's environment on the ground level and get five feet from it on their playing field. If I would have slipped through there. That's so close. Yeah. Yeah. You were like 20 feet from that deer. When you jumped up, I was less than that. My experience this week um, in Montana hunting with Christy and Karen from Shoot Like a Girl, it, it's been wonderful. Um, I came here to this hunt with the hopes that both of these ladies would not only get to um, experience Western big game hunting, but to get to learn something from, from other people that have done a lot of Western big game hunting. Shooting sports is an opportunity for women to take some time where they can have a little bit of physical fitness activity, a great sense of gratification, and enjoyable time with their families. This will not be the last elk hunt I go on in my lifetime. I, I definitely want to come back. They've made a Western hunter out of me for life. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. We all know that probably all too well. In fact, about 90% of the time, even the most experienced elk hunters fail when it comes to placing their hands on a massive set of antlers. However, failure, it's in the eye of the beholder. I highly doubt you could get one of the ladies featured in this episode to tell you that they felt failure on this hunt. The smiles, the nerves, every emotion you saw in this episode, they were real. And that's what success looks like to me. We would like to thank Karen Butler and Christy Crawford from Shoot Like a Girl and hope their elk hunting experience leaves lasting memories and drives them back to the mountains next September. Thanks to all of you for watching Team Elk. Learn how you can help ensure the future of elk, other wildlife, their habitat, and our hunting heritage by logging on to rmef.org. And remember, hunting is conservation.